Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lena. I decided to do a kind of try out new makeup products look. It's mainly going to be um, focused on the skin. There we go. So, um, my face is pretty much just washed and clean. Um, far from perfect skin. Very far as you see. I have so many dots and imperfections on my skin. Um, I got some kind of new blackouts. I mean, <clears throat> blackheads trying to pop in here. Um, got a little buddy right there. And yeah. I mean, this is not my skin's worst. But I don't honestly feel because I've tried so many different washes and so many different brands that it can get any better from here if you know what I mean like I don't know I just feel like I'm gonna always have the dots in everything I expect to spend as much as I did um, I also will be having a what did I get for Christmas um, little video haul but this is no way of me trying to show off what I got and flaunt and rub it in anybody's face. But we did go to Sephora and I spent that much right there. Yeah. I was really surprised because I bought majority of mini items. But then again, I stopped and was like, yeah. The mini items themselves are like 25 and so on but yeah and then another thing because now I'm seeing here I'm gonna add it into the video of course because it has to do with makeup and what I bought myself um yeah let me throw this in here too okay so I went to Morphe Friday I think it was no Thursday Thursday sorry I went to Morphe Thursday um, we went to the mall and I wanted to grab my brow shade but they didn't have my brow shade so the lady was like oh well look at why don't you try this kit so I picked up arch obsessions five-piece kit brow brow kit um, and this is in the color chocolate mousse okay so we're gonna go ahead and use this today because I'm not gonna lie I did already try these items out but I'm still going to use them, of course, so... Oh, yeah, and then it comes with a... Oh, it's a brow setting gel. I thought it was like a mini mascara. I didn't, okay, I didn't even try this. So, it comes with a little mini brow setting gel. Okay. The gel brow pomade. This is the little highlighter pencil. And this is in... Stick... Illum Illuminear. Okay, highlighter stick. I was reading in a different language. Highlighter stick. And then this is the brow pencil. Again, same shade as the pomade. Chocolate mousse. And this is the brow spoolie. So I thought it was a good deal. And honestly, I think that was only about $12. So I was like, you know what? I want a new lip. So I was looking around because um, I personally love Morphe's lip liners and they didn't really have a lot of the shades I was thinking about grabbing out and I didn't want to keep asking them to, you know, kind of open the drawers and check in the back and stuff. So um, I saw that they had like these little trio lip kits and this is out, sorry, out in the pout caramel nude lip trio. Now I really do love this trio, the lipstick in Boo. Now, I was really kind of nervous about this color. You might see, but I tried it already, so you see the lip liner. Because I was like, mm, is that for me? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it is really soft. I think it's a matte. Yeah, it's a matte in the color blue, but it's really soft. And then it comes with this lip gloss in the color Chill. Again, it looks you know not really what I would go for but it is pigmented for gloss like I have to say but I do love my glosses so that's chill 
And then I picked, well, not picked, but what came in there is the lip liner. And it is in Trendsetter. And this, I was like, okay, are you guys sure that this is going to go together? But trust me when I say that it's perfect. That's Trendsetter. Picked up the Too Faced Lip Injection Plump Challenge. Um, we dare you. It comes with the Lip Injection Plump Sexy Lips at Home and On the Go. So, I remember a long time ago um, when I first came across the original lip injection, just the clear gloss, I was in love. So, I was like, you know what? I haven't tried any other glosses or that one specifically again. So, I know I'm going to like it. Um, yeah, so I decided to grab this don't really like the packaging and kind of feel like it screams teenager or like little girl. I don't know. Anyways, then I picked up the Pores Instantly Smaller, the Pore Professional from Benefit. Just a little one because another item that I tried years ago and I really did like it, but I was like, mm, I still have more of the Maybelline Baby Skin. That's pretty much the dupe for that, but I was like, you know what? Let me, let me just get it. So then I got matched for the Amazonian Clay Foundation from Tarte. I know this is not new, but it's new to me. 16 hour full coverage foundation. Decided to go with the mini again just to try. And then I was asking the girl like, you know, does she have any recommendations for a good um, setting powder? I have oily skin, blah, 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 blah. And I was asking her, you know, do you have like a good one that could be a foundation and not just like a translucent powder? So she matched me with the Too Faced Born This Way Oil Free Multi Use Complexion Powder, and this is an almond. All right, so I'm trying that, and then I was telling her, like, I don't like to put too much creams or foundation or concealer directly under my eyes because they're very sensitive. So, does she recommend or um, have any powder ideas for me just to be able to kind of lighten it? I'm gonna try this of course um but you know something to kind of lighten it up and i told her that i was seeing one of my favorite youtubers on here i'm gonna link her below tatiana i think it is she's using this um and i was like okay can you match me so it is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish in a fair and again i decided to go with the mini size just to try and see if i like it so um, let's just get into it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the primer. So, I forgot how mini, mini is to them. Because <laughs> this is mini. But like I said, it's okay. Because I think the full is about 20 it's like 20 something, $23, and this mini one was only 13 Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, a little does go a long way, I kind of forgot. But it's okay, we're going to, oh yeah, we're going to keep going. So I'm just putting where I want my pores to look smaller, of course. Oh, I did not need to use that much. Um gonna do the cheek area the chin and the nose pretty much the t-zone you already know okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit and go to the brows so, yeah. and another thing I bought myself which I'm actually using at this moment was the gravity phone case I don't know if you guys seen it but TikTok made me buy it and you know it sold me it was a TikTok where they were um putting their phones on mirrors and walls and you know different things around the houses and i was like oh i like that because i don't always want to just prop it against something and constantly have it tipping over or so i was like oh okay let me try this phone case but it's not okay I can read it about, I want to say, a six. 
I would say a six because it works for the most part, but it's not working as much as they try to make it seem on TikTok, which of course, you know, you want to hype it up and sell your products. I get it. But the girls were like putting it on beer bottles and foreheads and I was just like, oh, okay. But no, you have to hold it there for a few seconds and it has to be a complete flat surface. It cannot be a forehead. It's not going to be attaching to any beer bottles that I've tried or just water bottles because I've tried to stick it on the passenger car window didn't work um I've tried to stick it on uh, just multiple things within the car and they weren't working so I was like all right so yeah not gonna work okay so I'm just gonna do a quick outline um with the brow pencil just to kind of get the shape and then I'm just gonna fill the rest of it in with the pomade I'm gonna take the brush I really do like the brush it's really good it's a really thin brush so it's precise but yeah so I got the gravity case, but like I said, it sticks to mirrors and, you know, um, completely flat, flat surfaces. So right now I have it stuck to my iPads, um, my iPads case, sorry. But anyways, I can't think. So yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas though. I'm over here just rambling, rambling, rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe concealer and just do a quick cleanup before I put the, sorry, the brow highlighter um, under, just for right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it out, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it just like this. So let's take a little bit. I'm gonna take that same brush that I used to clean it up with my Morphe concealer and just Blend it out. I don't know how I feel about the pencil because I, I don't know. I mean, I just feel like it's the same as my concealer. It's pretty much the same color too. It's just lighter than my skin tone. And just to... Okay. So... We're gonna go ahead and say that the brows are good. I'm gonna use the little setting gel when I'm done, but let's go in with the Amazonian clay foundation. So yeah, this little mini buddy was 20, no, sorry. So the uh, Benefits Professional Mini was 13 and this Amazonian clay mini was 15 so I really hope this works out because when they swatch you or match you they just give you a little corner so hoping this works I'm gonna go in with this brush because I actually used this brush um elf ultimate blending last night when I did my makeup and I really liked it because it blended everything out smooth and and it was nice so I'm going to just go ahead and take some directly on the brush oh, and see what happens. So again, this is in, ooh, I don't think I told you the shade. What shade is this in? This is 26 neutral. So I'm just going to take it. Does that work with full coverage? Do you even see anything? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't use the brush next time because I think it just kind of soaked into the brush. So I'm not going to go too much under my eye because... Like I said, it starts to get watery. 
because I have sensitive eyes and yeah so I'm just gonna slightly dust under and then uh, use the powder for the rest okay I'm not mad sorry now I see some coverage And I do think she matched me pretty good. A little, little nervous when I first got the color on my cheek. I was like, oh, it might be too light. But now, okay. Okay, I feel it's looking nice. So, this is with the Amazonian clay. This is without. Okay, I might have to go back. Might. I don't know. Might. Okay. Let's do the other side. Yeah, I really like this brush. I don't use it that often, but I'm liking it. It's very soft, and it's not, like, stiff and dense. It's very um, fluffy. Like, do you get know what I'm saying? It's very fluffy and soft. Okay. So... See, I don't know if you can tell, but it's already kind of starting to water. <sighs> okay, that is the foundation. I hope this is my color. We're just going to keep going. So, I'm going to let that kind of sit. Um, so, yeah, I think it was this powder foundation, I hope I'm right, that Tatiana always uses. Or not powder foundation, but this um, airbrush flawless. If it's not, then it has to be the Lori Mercier. <sighs> but I'm hoping I got it right. I think they had a mini of the Laura Mercier, but or Mercier, Mercier, I don't know however you pronounce it. Um, but I think that mini was that's why it wasn't blending. It fell on my shirts. Why did y'all tell me? <sighs> so y'all just gonna let it just fall on my shirt like that. Hmm. Now I feel some type of way. I feel some type of way. It's okay. You know what? It's okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna live. I'm just gonna take it down a little more. It's okay. Yeah, so it's either the Charlotte, ooh, the Charlotte Tilbury or the Laura Mercure. This is, I'm touching everything with foundation on my hands. It's okay. This is the Born, yeah, this is the Born This Way Too Faced Powder in Almond. Let's hope that it works. Okay, comes with a little protector. Oh, it does have a little poof. A little pink poof. I don't really use those poofs. My elf. Um. Brush. So, let's see. Okay. 
it's definitely mattifying my face. Can you guys tell that it's mattifying me? Powder, not powder. Powder, not powder. Okay, it mattified me nicely. We're gonna continue. Uh, again, my under eyes start in the water. Ooh, something went in my eye. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay. So, it didn't take that much powder to kind of... Hmm. To set in. Ooh, I like it. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, I might really be liking this powder. You guys can see that tear. Oh, I'm gonna get a brush really quickly. Okay, I'm not mad at this powder though. Like, it's really... It's really pretty on my skin. Ooh, I like how smooth it looks. It doesn't look... It doesn't look powdery or like... Yeah, it's not, it's not looking bad. Oh, that's smooth. That's really smooth. Okay. I'm gonna see if I take this brush. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna take this um, angled eye brush from AOA. I think I got it on Wish of Shein, I don't know. And I'm gonna go under my eyes with the Born This Way powder, since it is a powder foundation, and see if that can at least cover up. So, oh, it did. It did. Some of the darkness. But I just hope it don't look too... Okay, okay. There we go. In the whole eye. Mm, yeah, it's starting to water. It's okay. I'm not mad. Um, I really like how it did cover, you know, my dark, my darkness that I tend to get. Love the packaging and you guys should know why. You can see me. Ooh, because it's gold. So, I feel all bougie and fancy. I'm like, yes, I use Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> so this is the color in fair I'm going to take the same brush and try to see if it will lighten it up I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta do something. It's just not working for me. And I told the girl too, I was like, do you have any recommendation or any idea? Oh, I 
I just dipped it in here. I was trying to dust it off because I felt it getting wet. All right, so we are back. Highlighted, blushed, um, quick contour. So I'm going to finish off with the lips. Taking Trendsetter lip liner. I'm just going to bring my mirror down a little more. This color made me a little nervous, but it works really good. Very smooth, of course, like their other um, lip liners. I do recommend Morphe. I do recommend Morphe lip liners, so. I want to say they went up in like price maybe two dollars or so because when I first bought Morphe lip liners it was like four dollars now it's like six so still affordable okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that I like to wiggle it around you know now I'm gonna take the lipstick in boo and pretty much fill in the lips and slightly go over the liner just like this Just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, I'm debating if I should go in with the Chills lip gloss because you guys seen already what that looks like, or with the lips. Um, let's go with the lips. So again, it comes in this little tin. I don't know. It just says young oh okay it comes with three different ones the original lip plumper that started a sexy lip resolution revolution this one then it has the dramatically hydrate nor nourish and increase lip volume instantly and over time and then this one is the our most scientifically advanced lip plumper Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with um this one has the most intensity. Can you guys see that? It has a little lip rating. Most intensity. The original the dramatically and then this one. Hmm. Let's go in with the dramatically intensity, the highest intensity. If I can get it out. Okay. Oh, okay. Having a struggle. Okay. Oh. Got the little glue thing on there. Okay. So, these are my lips. Let's see if you guys can tell a difference. The only one I ever used was the original. So this says maximum plump, extra strength, instant, long-term lip plumping. These are my lips. As you can see, my top lip is bigger than the bottom. But let's see. Oh, it has like a slight fruity. Slight fruity flavor. Scent, like, I don't know, like a, 
I'm getting a fruity vanilla kind of scent. Okay. I love the little color of it. So this isn't on. Um, I will check back with you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so literally as soon as I paused the video and, um, you know, started putting everything away, instant tingle, instant numb, but not in a bad way. Not like, oh my God, I can't feel anything, but... I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell it plumped. Like it still has some tingle. It's plump. I like it. Definitely, 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 definitely. Um, like I said, it did help when I use this under my eye. Um, it's still kind of giving me some problems here, but it's just my eye. They're sensitive. Um, not really sure how I feel about the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to continue seeing what this can do because did it lighten it? I can't really tell. So... This might not have been the powder that I thought she was using. It could have been somebody else. But I still like the packaging. And it's cute. But yeah, so recommend. Gonna continue trying. Definitely, definitely recommend this foundation. Because it is good coverage. Um, it matches pretty well with my skin tone, I would say and it's smooth it was very smooth going on and it doesn't feel like i have anything on my face right now so so far i do recommend this um yeah and of course love the brow products of course um the lips love that definitely definitely recommend the lip injections um, if you guys can get the kit, great. I want to say the kit was mm, no. Where is it? The okay, right here. The kit was thirty-two dollars, but I feel like it's well worth it. You get all three of them, and this definitely is giving me the maximum plump because. Again, they feel juicy. They feel plump. Like, it it really worked. Um, so, yes, I do recommend those items. I'm going to continue using the others to see how it works out. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video because I know it's like 40 plus minutes so yeah i really do appreciate you guys watching please comment share like and subscribe